This doesn't have a lot to do with physical layer, but I want to do. I want to make sure you know this, and we aren't going to do it somewhere else. Analog conversion to digital. And I just did it wrong. It's supposed to be analog to digital conversion, ADC. And when we go back, it's digital to analog conversion. Okay. So what happens is you got someone over here, let's say, talking, blah, 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 blah. The sound waves coming out of your mouth are analog. And it actually hits, shall we draw Mr. It actually hits a microphone and causes an electrical signal to come through. So if you think about Mr. Mr. Bell's little thing here. So his talking is analog, causing vibrations. It vibrates something in here in this microphone and it creates an electrical signal on this wire. All right? We're awesome here. So here, talking in my phone, even my cell phone, I've got a microphone. I'm going to vibrate that and make an electrical signal, but my phone needs to convert that to digital. All right? Then it's going to go over the network. So this is the phone. It's going to go over the network into my friend's phone. And what's going to happen is the digital stuff is going to be converted to analog, and then it will come out of their speaker as an analog sound and they'll be able to hear it. All right? So this is like a little side trip. This will be fun. So I'll show you how that works. This is exciting. You guys ready? So here's what a sound wave looks like. It normally looks like, make sure I don't miss anything here. Yeah, we're good. Well, the sound wave, if you've ever seen a, I can't remember what they call these, a waveform editor, sorry. Any of you ever looked at a uh, video recording? If you look at a waveform editor, and you guys have probably seen these that look like this, and go like that. You've seen something that looks like this? This would be like a rap song. Boom, 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 right? right? This is literally the vibration that's going to come out of your speaker. So this high stuff is high power. Okay, and the low stuff is relatively quiet. So this is literally like how the thing is going to vibrate. What I'm showing you here is like if we zoomed in on this section. All right, we cool here? So this is like fraction of a second of talking. What we need to do is this is how it looks, and we'll draw a little line through here. So this is how it looks in terms of the vibration of what's going on in the microphone over every continuous second that the microphone or the speaker needs to vibrate, right? So I don't know, this is like an H. It's a little tiny bit of stuff. What we need to do is we need to measure this wave. And what we're going to do is every little bit of time, let me switch my pen here. This orange will work better. Every little bit of time, we're going to measure how tall it is. All right, so these will be pluses, and obviously these are going to be minuses. All right, we measure how tall it is. So when we're converting to, oops, so when we have an analog to digital, we measure how high the wave is, all right? So we measure how high the wave is. There's two important numbers here. How often we measure, this is the samples per second, okay? Hopefully you can understand, you know, here where I'm measuring this often, I'm going to get a better handle on what the signal looks like than if I'm only measuring this often, right? I'm going to get a truer form of the wave measuring really often than I am if I don't measure as often. 
We good? So it's just not going to look exactly like it if I don't measure as often. So that samples per second has a lot to do with something. The other important I thing is how many possible, what we'll, I'll just call it white heights of the wave, okay? I'm going to use a binary number to say how tall this is. Okay? And you guys remember with binary numbers? For example, if I use a one, a binary field that is size one, how many heights can I store in there? Two. There's only the height of representing a one and the height representing a zero, right? If I have a two bit field, there are four possible values. You guys following me here? Eight bit field has, you guys know this one? No, no. I already jumped on you. So two, we, we went from one to two is four, three would be eight, four would be 16. We never do any, those are way too low. We start at eight, that's 256 values. So we have eight bits, where are we at? So for an 8-bit field, we have 256 possible heights, all right? So that's the combination up here. That's going to determine, right? If we only had, I don't know, if we had four possible heights, you're not going to look like this wave. It doesn't matter how many times a second you sample. You seeing that? If we go up to eight, it's still gonna look pretty sucky, really blocky. If we go to eight bit fields, we have 256 possible heights. That means 256 heights going up here. We're getting a lot closer, okay? Normally voice is this rate, okay? Where am I at? I have that on here. Oh, audio CDs. For an audio recording, they normally use 16 bits. Okay? So the difference between your talking on your phone, the sound quality, you know, how true it sounds to you, your voice, is not nearly as good as what they expect when you buy a CD or, you know, music on the internet. Nobody buys CDs anymore, right? So 16 bits is the possible values. And just to note, oops, I didn't do here. How many samples per second? For voice, we usually do, where am I at? 8,000 samples a second. For a CD, it is 44,100 samples a second. So that's how many, that's the orange, right? How close these lines are together. So if you notice a CD, they're really close together and there's lots of different values they can have for those. For voice, it's further apart and there's not as many values. They just don't expect voice to sound as good. So that was fun. If I'm gonna go back So if I want to go from digital to analog, what I'm doing is I'm representing, remember, I have an 8-bit field that represents this sample, an 8-bit field for this one, this one. See how I'm trying to get them all? 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits. And so I line them all back together, and I reconstruct it by making, you know, how tall the wave was at each point. Oops. You seeing that? And then we do a smoothing pattern. To try to approximate it in your ear. That's crazy, huh? So remember we measure the heights when you're talking into your phone. We send the digits across or the bits across the network 
And when your friend gets them, they have the heights. And they have to reconstruct what your voice sounded like. Are we groovy here? Come on, this is so awesome. <laughs>